Hey there, ever seen a building built for love like the Taj Mahal? Well, I'm taking that concept to another level. I'm about to create a city and city skylines, but not just any city, one my girlfriend would adore. Granted, this is a fictional city, but it's all about the intentions and the effort, creativity and thought. So a city capturing the essence of what she loves. A list of things that my girlfriend loves and thus would make for her dream city is extensive. I will be limiting myself to 10 key points. Planting greenery. She adores nature. Motorcycles and bicycles. Due to her love for adventurous rides. Swimming in rivers, pools, lakes, swimming in itself. She's a water baby. Cats and animals. She has a soft spot for our furry friends. Yakutian Osaka culture. She's deeply proud of her roots. Books and reading. She's an avid book lover. Gym and fitness. Working out is a huge part of her life. Korean culture and food. She's fascinated by Korean traditions. Home. From flats to houses with spaces for gardens. She is quite an introvert and loves to spend time at home. And finally, Hakaranda trees. Those stunning purple blooms that defy her understanding of trees, which are pretty much limited to green, orange, and leafless. Now, let's brainstorm how to make her dream city come to life. Let's break down the previous list and see how we can incorporate it into the city in itself. First of all, planting greenery. Options include a major city park, like New York's Central Park, or nature reserves close to the city. For motorcycle and bicycles, creating trails through nature reserves and bike-friendly infrastructure within the city and or urban areas. For swimming, Having lakes and or rivers in the nature reserve, spaces that would allow for people to swim and even fish. For cats and animals, I was considering animal themed buildings or even a zoo with a connection or within the nature reserves. For Yakutian culture, I was pretty much thinking about only incorporating cultural symbols like flags off to books and readings, planning libraries, monuments, and scientific spaces for book lovers, as well as having universities is going to be a must. For gym and fitness, I was thinking about designing sports facilities or putting in sports facilities, outdoor workout spaces, and jogging paths. For the Korean culture and food, probably creating an Asian themed district or districts, gardens, and restaurants reflecting Korean or other Asian cultures. For the parts of home, I was thinking about designing diverse housing styles, from apartments to functional suburbs, not the monstrosity that North America tends to have, and areas reminiscent of summer houses or towns where you could log off for the weekend at a cabin, white house, near nature, like a, a small escape from the city. And finally, for the Hakaranda trees, implementing these beautiful trees along avenues and streets to give a touch of color to the city. Now, I will also implement my own criteria, my own decision into the city building after all, I am building it. So, Let's dive into my own style and vision for the city. I have to admit, I have a bias for European style cities. And currently I'm all about more than urban design and mo urban mobility. So here's what I'm going to try and focus on. First of all, the Grand or a Central Plaza. Picture a central hub, a vibrant plaza teeming with life surrounded by government buildings, with a church, a public outdoor space that has transcended time. Second, echoes of history, 
Imagine remnants of medieval times with subtle nods of defensive walls that tell stories of the city's past. These include where the city will be, picture why the people would have decided to settle where they did, taking into mind defensive aspects using nature to its advantage, as well as ease of trading and agriculture, maybe religious or cultural reasons, because symbolism, culture, and traditions are a big part as to the decisions we make. Third, old world charm. Narrow streets in the older sections reflecting the city's rich historical fabric and heritage. Four, storytelling streets. The city isn't just a city. It's a story unfolding. The design will narrate its growth, the events that shaped it and how different towns and areas melded into the bustling city it will become. And the next point is also linked to this one, evolution into modernity. Witness the transformation, the story of the city. We're transforming from the old to the new, adopting European architecture to modern changes, from lanes to avenues, with nods to changes in its society itself, from policy to architectural evolution. Say, for example, a decade where social housing was planned and developed, maybe areas that had to change due to growth, population movements, cultural shifts, and other. Six, parks. Every town, every neighborhood, will all have their own park. This is biased from my own childhood experience, but it also gives a reason for a sense of community, where people gather and mingle with their neighbors. This will probably be limited to newer, newer urban spaces and not so much the historical center. Seven, scale and feasibility. I'm limiting the population to around 60 to 100,000, maybe even only 30,000 people not just for the sake of my potato laptop, but to ensure we maintain detail, a conscious design, and avoid overwhelming the city's charm. And eight, I'm focused on urban mobility or more than urban design. So having bike-friendly infrastructure, pedestrian infrastructure, infrastructure, pretty much selling the priorities as to pedestrian, cyclists, public transportation, transport or logistics vehicles, and then private vehicles such as cars. So, with a list of key points in mind and my own design criteria, this city is going to be a blend of her dreams and my vision. Join me as we bring the city to life, step by step, in the upcoming episodes. It's going to be an exciting journey. The next episode, we will see where and why of the decision on the map like where the people will settle in the specific map and why I think they will settle there. And I'll leave a sneak peek of the map itself in screen. Until next time.